So Andrew, now we're doing this sort of evil twin demonstration and I'm in a hotel and I want to access the Wi-Fi and I go to my computer and I see in this little box here, oh, here are all the Wi-Fi access points that are available to me and one of them is called typical hotel Wi-Fi. Sure. So I click on that because it's got a lot of good bars and it looks just like the hotel I'm in. Well, looking exactly like the hotel you're in is exactly the point of the evil twin attack. So the attacker creates a Wi-Fi network that is has the same name uh, as either Wi-Fi networks in the area or a Wi-Fi network that they know you've previously connected to. Mm -hmm. um, they make their signal stronger than all the other networks in the area, so you're more likely to connect to them. And then once you connect to them, all of your internet communication passes through the attacker's network, through their computer, so they can, uh, they can monitor and modify any of your communication. So here it's asking me for you know, my email address, my password. They're able to see all of that when I enter it. But more than that, purchase access for $5 for three hours. If I purchase it, I've got to give them my credit card. Right. At which point they have my credit card, expiration date, co CCV code. Uh, if you were in a hotel that provided free Wi-Fi, um, you might recognize this as being not expected, right? Like no, normally they would ask you for something like your room number and your last name. That's mm -hmm. a very reasonable request. But in this case, they're asking you for payment card details. And if you're expecting free Wi-Fi, at that point, you should probably uh, give the front desk a call. Take me through that again. The hotel I'm in will probably show up here. Sure. The fake hotel, the typical hotel, will also show up here. Mm -hmm. How do I know which is which? There's no way to know which is which. They'll be virtually indistinguishable. D so does that mean that I just shouldn't use free Wi-Fi in hotels? I wouldn't say don't use free Wi-Fi in hotels, but you should definitely take steps to uh, protect yourself. So you should know if this hotel provides free Wi-Fi, and if so, what should be required in order to access the free Wi-Fi. But if you're expecting free hotel Wi-Fi uh, and you're being asked for credit card details, uh, at that point you might want to bail out. Just no Wi-Fi is safe ever. No, of course I use Wi-Fi, um, but I tend to compartmentalize what I do on public Wi-Fi versus the Wi-Fi in my home. And so when I'm on a public Wi-Fi network, uh, I don't do my online banking. Mostly I would recommend, you know, if it's a particularly sensitive function, if it's online banking or something similar, I, I don't do that on public Wi-Fi.